ay mangangagat na ang iyong chow-chow. Nagpapakita ba siya ng mga signs? Ikaw ay kanya. Kagatin. In this vlog today, I will be sharing to you the warning signs na dapat mindful ka kung feeling mo nagiging aggressive na ang iyong dog or iyong chow-chow. So if you want to know more, please keep on watching. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Say hi to my dog, Theo. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay, so for our comment of the week, it will come from Maxine Ways Eugenio. So, ang sabi niya, paano po gagawin if naiirita yung chow ko? Kasi po yung chow namin, pag bored or may ayaw na ginagawa sa kanya, nagagalit siya. And also, sometimes po pag naglalaro kami, nangangagat siya. Okay, so comment of the week natin is very much related to our vlog this week. So, marami akong napapansin ngayon na malaking factor siguro, most likely itong chow chow na to, e eh, papi pa lang. Number one. Number two, eh, sasagutin natin kung ano ba yung mga signs. Kasi feeling ko, worried na tong owner na to na worried na si Maxina baka uh, maging aggressive ang kanyang chow-chow. So, i-discuss natin kasi today yung mga warning signs na would lead to aggression. At most of the time, guys, um, hindi natin to napapansin. Usually, ina-identify na natin yung cause kapag nakagat na ang isang owner or isang bisita or any stranger. You have to know these signs when a dog can possibly bite. Okay? Para hindi na mag-escalate. So, ito yung mga tips na para sa inyo. So, number one is, ang pinaka-importante, eh, know the nature of the breed. So, chow chows in general, actually lahat ng dogs, expect humans or every everything around them they expect an amount of respect sa kanilang personal space. Okay? And Chow Chow specifically are very independent and aloof creatures. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng aloof? Okay? Baka kasi nanonosebleed tayo, guys. Pero ang ibig sabihin lang, they're not the most friendly breed out there. Okay? Um, they are very selective in terms of engagement. Yung characteristic or attitude ng isang chow chow is most of the time cat-like. So, parang wala sila masyadong pake most of the time. At very selective sila dun sa time when they would want to play, they would want to engage to you. Owning a chow chow, you have to bear in mind that um, hindi, you won't get the affection that you want all the time. And that's their nature. By the way, these signs were never displayed by Theodore. It just so happens that I've consulted lots of dog trainers. And ito yung mga top 7 na mga signs. Okay? So, number 1. They look stiff. Like, for example, lalapitan mo siya, tapos parang... Basta hindi siya at ease. Parang either nakatayo siya, hindi siya nagka-calm down, hindi siya umuupo. That's number one. Number two is, they lick their lips in a nervous way. When I say nervous way, like parang paulit-ulit. It's what dogs usually do kapag nasa uncomfortable circumstance sila. Number three, yawning. Okay? Pag humihikab sila, hindi always ibig sabihin nun in aantok po sila, guys. Okay? Yawning is um, para a way for them to relax their their jaws and their mats kasi nga there's tension, there's stiff. So, parang tinatry pa nilang parang i-keep in ang kanilang parang, you know, I'm not comfortable. Next naman, guys, is yung side stare. So, halimbawa, ganyan nga, diba? Stiff na sila, guys. Tapos parang gumaganyan lang, oh. Yan o, oh, yan o, gumigilid. Kasi usually, dogs are very confrontational. So, if they like you, they will go to you. Tapos, titig-tignan ka nila eye to eye, may focus. Pero pag, like, gilid lang, di ba parang mga tao lang yun, guys? Parang pag hindi mo siya nang feel yung tao, di ba? Parang, hindi mo kayang tumingin ng straight up. So, yun, yun. That's warning sign. Yun yung warning sign na stop whatever you're doing. I am not comfortable. Next is, tail is not moving. Instead, nakaangat lang yung tail niya or again, stiff siya. So, usually, pag friendly yung dog, um, nagwawag yung tail. Pero not necessarily. Ah. Minsan, may predator mode sila. So, ang nangyayari, eh, akala mo, gusto ka yung pala kakainin. Hindi <laughs> ka naman niya kakainin. Pero, 
um, uh, hindi hindi friendly yung tail. Talagang nakatayo lang na ganyan. So, yun ang mga kailangan natin uh, i-observe sa ating chow chow or ating dog. Okay, so itong 7th tip or 7th sign is laging nami-miss out to ng mga tao. Okay? Ito ay ang Shopee. <laughs> Joke lang. Sigana ba tumutunog tong telepono ko? Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. So, yung number 7 na to ay eh, yung pag-iwas ng dog. Okay? So, yung fa yung mga signs na yun usually, um, gagawin nila yun. Pero, pag bawa makulit ka talaga, ang last thing or gagawin nila is umiwas. So, umiwas is saying, I really don't like it. I've had enough of this kakulitan or forcing yourself to me. I'm a go. Flight. Okay? That means no. Basically, ang order is flight. And then, if makulit ka pa rin, the dog will growl. Or sometimes, nandun na siya, she, he or she will growl. Next in line to that is a bite. So, once na umiwas yung dog mo, um, it's time to back off. Okay. Distance is avoidance. Distance is no to a dog. So, by that time, dapat nirespeto mo na ang kanyang space. Now, if makulit ka pa din, or merong force of interaction na nagaganap, for sure, you're gonna get a growl or a bite. Okay, if you do not stop this, this will escalate into an aggressive state. So, hindi lang yun kagat, talagang manggigigil siya sa'yo until they bite your arm off. <laughs> hindi naman. Pero kahagat at kahagat, and they will do this to every single person. Especially kung kaya nilang gawin sa alpha nila, guys. Kaya nilang gawin kahit kanino. Eh, mami, eh, puro ka naman mga signs. Eh, anong gagawin ko kung nandun ako sa sitwasyon na yun? And I'm seeing these signs. Very, very important that you create a relationship with your dog. Okay? At number one sa dog world talaga is respect. So, for example, since sinabi ko na nga yung nature ng chow chows, if they feel like they do want to play with you. You have to respect that, guys. And for sure, pag may mga time na ayaw mo or you're busy and they go to you, they will also respect when you say no. How do you create a relationship? Most of the time, you use um, treats or, you know, praises. So every time the dog comes near you and their behave, you always give them praises like, good boy, good girl, or you have a treat at hand. So, yon Number one rule for your dog not to be aggressive or for you to show your respect sa space nila is wait for them to go to you. Yun yung basic. Guys, mararamdaman ng aso nyo yan. Pag you feed them, you take care of them, they will definitely form a bond. And you don't even have to force it. Silang lalapit sa inyo. Next is you play with them. And when I say play with them, hindi lang yung catch-catch. You run with them. You, you know, play to them is also engagement. And that will strengthen your bond. Okay? So, make sure that you play with them all the time. Especially pag puppy sila. Okay? So, um, and you... As, as their alpha, you, you, it is your responsibility to always protect their space as well. So, most of the time, yung mga dog owners, hindi naman talaga nangagat yung chow nila, sa kanila mabait. Parang confident sila lagi for other people to mingle with their dog agad-agad. Especially with children and all. Ako, personally, napakakalmadong Chow Chow ni Theodore. Pero, I'm always cautious with family members and strangers that come to our home. I'm always very specific to inform them that, you know, you have to, you have, you have to respect my dog's space. And, apparently, space niya yung house namin. So, you know, you have to constantly be aware na dapat hindi natin pinoforce yung mga sarili natin sa kanila. And this goes for Chow Chows po talaga in to be specific. Okay, to summarize it, basta pag nakikita nyo na yung mga signs na to, leave them alone. Okay? And again, really create a relationship. I have it guys. Hopefully, may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Nay. So, if you have questions regarding health, behavioral issues, huwag kayong masyadong nag-aano sa akin. Siguro makalam talaga lahat. Pero I usually consult the experts. Um, there you have it. Uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see you again on my next vlog.